Hey guys, I'm Nick, and on this episode of The Scram Light, it has finally happened. You guys have been requesting for me to turn my Bubble Pop Electric Cupcakes into a cake for such a long time. I've finally done it. I think it looks awesome. I think you guys are going to love this. Uh, let's just get straight into it. This is how you make my Bubble Pop Electric Cake. Okay guys, so we're going to start off by making the gelatin bubbles. Now I just want to start off by saying that these are food safe, but they're not really edible. It tastes like eating plastic. Now for these you're going to need to make them the day before you make the cake, or on the day that you actually bake the cake. And then the next day you'll decorate and add these on top. So you want to pop some water into a large mixing bowl along with your gelatin, give that a mix, let it sit for about 5 minutes and it'll really set. Then you want to pop this in the microwave for about 15 seconds at a time and just gently melt it. Add some pink food dye, mix it in really really well. Now I've got some small food safe water balloons here. I've just bought these online. We're going to blow them up. You can blow them up to different sizes and I'm just taping these to some paper straws. We're going to dip them and coat them in that gelatin and then let them set completely overnight. Once they've set you want to pop the balloon. Now what I actually did and I forgot to mention is I just very lightly sprayed these with cooking oil and it will help the balloon come away from the gelatin a lot easier once they're set. Now set those aside and we're going to move on to making the cake. So pop your flour into a large mixing bowl along with your sugar, some baking powder, salt and you want to mix that up. Then you want to add your softened butter and mix that until it reaches a crumbly sand like texture. Next you want to add your milk, yogurt, oil, eggs, I'm adding some bubblegum essence and some strawberry essence to make it strawberry bubblegum flavoured. Mix that until it's very well combined. Now we're going to add some pink food dye. Make sure you scrape down the bowl at least once and then continue mixing for a final 20 seconds. Sorry guys, I completely forgot to show that. Now I've got an 8 inch cake tin and I'm going to spray that with oil really really well. I'm going to line the bottom with some baking paper. And then I'm going to pour my butter into three of these tins evenly. We're going to bake these for about 30 to 35 minutes. Once they're baked, transfer them to a cooling rack to cool down completely. Now I've got some of my beautiful Swiss meringue buttercream frosting. You can find the recipe for that on my website. We're going to add some boysenberry essence to that and some bubblegum essence as well as some blue food gel. Now I'm using sky blue americolor food gel gently fold that in until everything is really well combined our cakes baked beautifully i'm going to get them out of the tin peel that baking paper off now we're going to slice the top off with a cake leveler and then slice these in half i'm going to drizzle some simple syrup on top of these you can find the recipe for that in the written recipe it's super easy to make I'm going to add a dab of my buttercream frosting on top of a cake board and we're going to add our first layer of cake and really firmly press that down to get it stuck onto the cake board. Now I like to pipe my buttercream on top of each layer that way everything is nice and even. Now I'm just using a small offset spatula just to even it out even more. Continue doing that for each layer until you get to the last layer. I'm piping some extra buttercream frosting around the sides and top. I'm going to spread that out with my small offset spatula and then I'm using a cake scraper to get this nice and even. Now guys this is the crumb coat and the crumb coat's aim is to trap all of the loose crumbs from the cake so that they don't end up in the final layer of frosting. So this doesn't have to look perfect but you guys know me I'm a perfectionist I like to make sure that it looks nice. So we're going to chill this for about two hours to let everything set completely before we add the final layer of buttercream frosting. We're going to repeat the process of scraping down the frosting to get everything nice and smooth on the sides and the top. Now I chilled this for about another hour. It's completely optional but it was a little bit warm that day so I felt like I needed to chill it. Then I stuck on my sprinkles. Now I've got four different size round pink sprinkles. This will work with just one size sprinkle, but I just wanted to take it that extra step. 
Now the aim here guys is to get a nice gradient effect of sprinkles. So we're going to start off with the big ones at the bottom. I decided to throw on my next size sprinkles which is very messy but you know what I surprisingly didn't waste that many sprinkles. And then I decided to throw on the smaller sprinkles. Actually that was only three. Now you guys you're going to finish this off with those gorgeous almost glowing gelatin bubbles and that is pretty much it. How gorgeous is the center of this cake? Okay guys, so that was my Bubble Pop Electric Cake. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. You're gonna find the recipe for this cake on my website. The link for that is in the box below. I've also left a full list of the ingredients down there as well for you guys. If you enjoy watching this video, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Now, if you do happen to subscribe, thank you very much, first of all. And next to the subscribe button, there's like a little bell icon. If you click that, YouTube sends you notifications every time there's a new video. That way you don't miss out as soon as the new videos are up. Thanks so much for watching guys. As usual, thank you for leaving all of the lovely comments down in the comment section. I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Scrimeline.